First of all, man, tell me about yourself. What do you do? Well, actually, I'm a motivational speaker, inspirational speaker, spiritual coach. I'm just a, a channel of light and life for everybody I meet and people that come to me. Uh huh. So, give me an example of how you do that, man. You do you do seminars. You got stuff well, actually, coming up right now. Uh, me and my fiance, she working on the female half of it. Uh, you are the shit, and we're gonna teach people how to create the, their own life and their own reality to put incorporate. Uh, sciences and techniques in order to manifest things in your life, and I'm gonna do the, the male version. She do right now. She's working on the female version. Okay, man, that's excellent, man. Is what, uh, what are the dates? Are they coming up soon? Uh, you know what? Another date is like it's gonna be next month, but I have it for you so you can post it up soon. I have all that information. For okay, you. excellent, man. So tell me, I know I met you uh, a few, uh, a couple of last week. Yeah, um, at a at a listening party for the uh, disco poet. Yeah, Kari Bissell. Also known as the rock star. Yeah. Uh, so, man, tell me about um, kind of the, some of the stuff. Give me another example of. I know you got the seminars coming up, but give me an example of what you do to help people, man, who need to get to that next level. Oh uh, well, actually, what it is is, see, I'm 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 um I'm a understander, an overstander of that. Your diet and the things that you put in your body and your mind have the, a major role in your spiritual development. Uh -huh. So what I did was a couple of months back, I put uh, three women on this uh, particular live food diet and they lost weight. Like everyone lost like 15 pounds in a matter of 30 days. Uh -huh. But it's more than just losing weight. It's more about cleansing your mind and your body and like learning to... Um, master the desires of your flesh and once you do those types of things those are the things that help you evolve in consciousness yes, because sir. everybody like people don't realize that we're here to evolve right and not evolve financially we're right. spiritual beings in the physical body right so when you miss when you get into the physical body you you kind of get disturbed i mean you know not disturbed but yeah disturbed and like amnesia so uh -huh. your spirituality your spirit is like well i want to talk i want to express but yet your flesh is telling you i want to eat i want this i want that you know what i'm saying so right. once you learn to do certain practices where you do whether it's abstaining from from negative conversations, negative people, TV, media, you know, all these type of things that, that kind of have low vibrations. Right. You can allow your spirit more access and more expression in your life. And that's how you get, you okay. know what I'm saying, all of the manifestations. Man, you said two things that are real interesting to me. I want you to, to, to hit a little bit more. Uh, one was this, you said live food. Now explain <laughs> what you mean by live food as opposed to dead food. Well, see, well, that's, that's <laughs> it right there, live opposed to dead. You're, I know you heard the phrase, you are what you eat. That's right. like the most phenomenal, smallest phrase that has the biggest meaning because what happens is whatever you put in your body, your cells automatically imitate. Because right? uh -huh. our body is like very, even though it's a, it's a physical realm, but it's very intelligent and it knows how to absorb right. and imitate. So whatever you eat, your body's going to start imitating that. So if you eat food that has been burnt, but by fire, and I don't mean burn as in burnt as in turn black, but if you just cook it and you and kill the enzymes in it, it becomes dead. So your body's gonna be have a dead flesh, dead reaction. Uh -huh. So let me give you, let me tell you this. Live foods would be like if I was to pick a banana off a tree, right? Uh, the banana has everything it needs. It's already been cooked by the earth. Uh -huh. So I, w I have no need to add any fire to it. It has live enzymes that help you digest it. Uh -huh. But when you cook food, it kills the live enzymes, and then you have to use your, use your own body's enzymes, which in turn, when you give up your own uh, enzymes, enzymes will say are the life force of your body, right. the life force of any living thing. Uh -huh. So when you use up your own enzymes, you're depleting your life force. So we think aging is normal, and we think sickness is normal, but it's only because we're depleting all our enzymes out of our body, plus the negativity and uh -huh. all of that. And so, your, your diet, when you eat live foods, of course you save your own enzymes and then the food is actually digested properly and exposed, expelled properly. Uh -huh. And that helps you stay. Okay, now hit this point too, because vigorous. you said something that uh, made me think about, I guess it's a connection between the physical and the spiritual. Because you talked about some of the physical things that you can control or the physical things, the food that you eat and how it affects your spirit. Right. So how, what is, is, how does that relate? Explain that a little bit more. Well, um, along, with, along with eating, okay? Eating, you can eat something that, like a, a cow. The cow died with uh, being treated badly. They kick, I've seen the way they treat cows. They kick them, they sting them, they, right. they herd them together. Just real uncomfortable abuse lifestyle. Them. Abuse right. them. So, at the point of death, there was a lot of uh, adrenaline 
built up in this cow, right. negativity, you know, of anger built up in this cow. So when you digest that in your system, like again, your body, it's it's um let me let me give another example. Like say stress. Stress can actually have a physical effect on you. Even though it could be somebody just getting on your nerve outside of you uh -huh. by talking or the, 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 the situation at work, the environment at work, it actually caused your head to fall out. Right. Or right. it actually caused tension in your neck. Right. So the same thing with energies in all different forms, the energies from the food, if it's negative food, if it was in a negative situation and you digest that, it, right. has a, it definitely has a physical effect. The people and the conversations you have has, can have a physical effect on you. So the spirit, by being in the body, the main purpose is to unite them. Right. And now I'm not saying like, okay, well, you need to be a monk and a Buddhist and all that because you do need, you came in this earth to experience it. Right. You know what I'm saying? So. Right. You have to show your flesh who's boss. It's just like if you're getting a, a Mercedes or something, you know what I'm saying? Right. Or, or a Corvette. If you know, if it goes zero to sixty, as soon as you tap that paddle, if you're not pedal, if you're not familiar with how it, you you gonna run into a tree. Right. So you get in this physical body and you don't know what it's capable of doing, and right. your spirit is not in control. We need an instruction you crash. manual. You need an instruction manual. We need a book manual. to teach us a, how to use this body. Book, and they, they used to say that's what the Bible stood for: basic instructions before leaving Earth. Right. right. Saying no basic right. instructions once you get in Earth. Right. And you know, so it's a lot of other tools that you incorporate to help you learn to master right. your machine. Right. Now you said something that made me. This is gonna sound. This is gonna sound funny, but I think that it, it touches on what you said. If we can get our people to get off of cows and chicken, we might stop the violence in the hood. Oh my goodness! You, you, you might stop a lot of stuff in the hood, right. man. I mean, because there's a lot of a lot of chemicals, man. Testosterone. I mean, uh, estrogen in the food. It's a lot of. Uh, hormones and the water you're drinking. It's a lot right. of stuff that your body and your spirit is being bombarded with. Man. Right. You can't, it's like you can't breathe. It calls you to go crazy. You don't right. realize that you're already crazy because everybody else crazy. Right. <laughs> you know right. what I'm saying? It's only when you so step you out of society you know. and be like, okay, <laughs> and you look like, wow, was I really doing that? You right. know what right. I'm saying? Because you don't know. All right, so let me switch gears. Okay. Last night.